Have you ever wondered why the United States Air Force is more powerful than China? There is no doubt that China invests mind-blowing amounts in the creation of air fighters and bombers, but no matter how advanced it gets, the United States is always several steps ahead of it. With the development of the world's most feared air fighters, the U.S. has remained unrivaled in its position at the forefront of technological advancement. How does the U.S. remain several steps ahead? What is the nation's most reverent fighter? Join us as we delve into the advanced features of the supersonic jet that makes the United States Air Force more powerful than China. The battle for technological dominance between the United States and China has been ongoing for a very long time now. And just as you imagine, the battle is an extremely very tough one. And with every advancement that China makes in terms of its military technology, the United States is always a thousand steps ahead. Over several years now, the United States Air Force has invested huge amounts of money into the development of air fighters that possess unrivaled capabilities and are way ahead of other nation's fighters. In the fiscal year 2024, the U.S. Air Force had a requested budget of about 259 billion U.S. dollars, including funds earmarked for the Space Force. The enacted budget for the Air Force in the fiscal year of 2023 was 249 billion U.S. dollars. While on the other hand, in 2023, China's budget for its Air Force was announced to be 1.55 trillion yuan. However, the budget was increased the year after and was announced to be 7.2 trillion yuan which is equal to $231 billion. China's budget is quite impressive, and this makes it one of the few technologically advanced nations, however. Its budget is still below the United States, and as a result of this, the U.S. has an edge over China. The United States Air Force has dutifully utilized its budget and has developed one of the best and formidable supersonic jets in the world till date. Some of these aircrafts include the very first stealthy fighter to be ever created, F-22 Raptor, then the F-35, the F-15, the F-A-18 Hornet, and then the B-2 Spirit. Let's check out their capabilities and what makes them better than China's fighter jets. Starting with the F-22 Raptor, this aircraft is a super advanced fighter jet and it is renowned for its fifth generation technology and stealth capabilities. It's designed to efficiently perform all kinds of missions, especially those in dangerous areas with a lot of enemy activity. One reason for its efficiency is its shape and design, which helps it to be really hard to detect by radar. This technological marvel is powered by two powerful Pratt and Whitney engines that can move in different directions to help the aircraft maneuver better, even in difficult weathers. But that's not the only unique feature of the Raptor. It can fly at really high speeds, even without using extra fuel, and it can travel long distances, making it great for missions far from home. This air fighter can fly really high and really fast, which makes its sensors and weapons work even better. Plus, it can go supersonic without needing extra fuel, so it can catch targets that other planes might miss. And because its weapons are hidden inside the plane, it's more aerodynamic and can fly faster and farther than other planes with weapons hanging outside. Its design and materials make it really strong and able to handle flying really fast. Plus, it can do some really cool maneuvers and handle tough situations easily, thanks to its computerized controls. The F-22 Raptor was built to be really hard for radar to detect. It does this by shaping its body a certain way, using special materials, and keeping its weapons hidden inside. The plane also reduces its infrared signature, making it harder to track by heat-seeking missiles. Compared to older stealth planes, the Raptor doesn't rely as much on special coatings that need a lot of maintenance. It can even be fixed in a regular hangar instead of a special one. Also, the aircraft is equipped with a special system that warns when its radar signature needs fixing, and its radar signature from certain angles is incredibly small, almost like a tiny metal ball. This stealth aircraft also has really advanced systems inside. It can process data from all its sensors to give the pilot a clear picture of what's going on around the plane. Its radar can track multiple targets even in bad weather, and it can even jam enemy sensors. The plane is also equipped with systems to detect and counter enemy missile threats. In terms of weapons, it can carry missiles and bombs inside its body, which helps it maintain its sleek and stealthy features. It can also carry extra fuel tanks or additional missiles on its wings, but these can be dropped if needed to maintain stealthiness. 
Maintenance for the Raptor is quite intense, as expected for such an advanced aircraft. It has a three-week plan required every 300 flight hours. However, improvements have been made over time to make maintenance more efficient and cost-effective. With the aircraft becoming more available for missions and requiring fewer maintenance hours per flight hour as time has gone on. Now, the second technological marvel in the U.S. Air Force possession is the F-35. The aircraft is a type of fighter jet that can fly really fast and extremely quietly. It's designed to be hard for radar to spot. This jet focuses on using advanced technology to help the pilots see what's happening around them and to hit targets from far away. It has a unique shape with two tails that are angled to make it stealthy. It also has special flaps and wings to help it maneuver well. Despite being smaller than some other jets, it can still carry a lot of fuel and weapons inside, which keeps it sleek and hard to detect. In terms of speed and agility, it's not as fast as some other jets, but it can still hold its own in a fight. It can fly at about Mach 1.6 and has good control even at high angles. Inside, the F-35 is packed with high-tech sensors and computers. These help the pilots see and understand what's going on around them, even in tough situations where vision might be restricted. The radar on the air fighter can track targets from far away, and it has systems to detect and jam enemy radar. One feature that makes this fighter unique is that it can never get out of style because it is designed to be upgraded over time with better technology and equipment. So as technology evolves, the F-35 is doing the same. This simply means that it can stay effective for many years, even as new threats emerge. It is quite similar to the Raptor in terms of stealth because stealth is also equally important for the F-35 as well. They've designed it carefully to make it hard for radar to detect. They shaped the plane and used special materials to make it less visible to radar. Its cockpit was designed to help the pilot know what's happening around them. It has a big touchscreen display showing flight info, store management, and more. There's also a smaller display below it. They even made a system that lets the pilot talk to the aircraft around it. Also, instead of showing info on a screen in front of them, like in older planes, the F-35 shows it on the pilot's helmet visor. This way, no matter where the pilot looks, they see important info. The cockpit has a tough canopy and a seat that launches the pilot out if needed. There are controls on the right side for flying. For safety, there's an oxygen system on board. The helmet display is super important for the F-35. It shows flight info on the helmet visor, so the pilot always knows what's going on. Even if they're not looking straight ahead, they can see everything. It can even show night vision images, making it seem like they can see through the airframe. This system helps the pilot aim missiles at targets, even if the plane is pointing in a different direction. However, each helmet costs a lot of money and is a bit heavy, which could be a problem for smaller pilots. In the past, there were some problems with the helmet display shaking and showing images wrong. They tried to fix it by using night vision goggles instead, but later they improved the helmet, making it better for pilots. The F-35 has one engine made by Pratt & Whitney called the F-135. Aside from helping the fighter to fly, this engine is special because it helps keep the aircraft stay hidden from radars that can spot it. They did this by making parts of the engine out of materials that don't reflect radar waves. The aircraft also has a unique shape for the part that lets out hot air, which helps hide it from radars too. The developers of the F-35 have plans to make the engine even better in the future in order to help it keep up with new challenges. They're working on making engines that can change how they work based on what's happening around them. Next on the list is the B-2 Spirit. The B-2 Spirit was made to perform very important and crucial jobs for the U.S. Air Force, like flying into enemy areas to drop bombs, including very powerful ones like nuclear bombs. It looks different from other planes because it doesn't have a separate body or tail. It's all one big wing. This design, along with some special technologies, makes it hard for enemies to detect on radars, giving it an advantage. It can fly really far without needing to stop often, and when it does stop to refuel, it can take in a lot of fuel at once. Building this air fighter was a big challenge because it needed new computer technology to design and build it properly. It's similar to some older planes that were never finished, like the YB-35 and YB-49, but fortunately the B-2 was successful where they weren't. 
About 80 pilots were trained to fly the aircraft, however. It only needs two people to operate it, unlike other bombers that need more crew. It's also very automated, so one person can rest while the other keeps an eye on things, which is unusual for a plane with two seats. During the Cold War, the B-2 was designed in a way that helps it fly deep into enemy territory without being seen, dropping bombs, including nuclear ones. It has special places inside where bombs are kept, which helps it hide from radars better than if they were outside. It can carry up to 40,000 pounds of bombs, including nuclear ones like the B-61 and B-83. It can also carry other types of bombs. After the Cold War ended, this aircraft was changed, so it could also do more regular bombing missions, not just nuclear ones. It was equipped with better technology to help it find and hit targets accurately, like GPS-guided bombs. During the war, it used to be able to carry up to 16 of these bombs, but with upgrades, it can now carry up to 80. It also has different types of bombs it can carry, like Mark 82 and Mark 84 bombs. And it can even carry really big ones, like the 30,000 pound massive ordnance penetrator. To help it fly safely and find its way, this advanced aircraft has lots of advanced computers and systems on board. Some of these systems can help detect problems and even help it plan its route during a mission to avoid dangerous areas. These systems are always being improved to make it even better at what it does. Also, to make sure the B-2 can fly smoothly without tipping over, it uses a computer system that controls its flight surfaces automatically. This system gets information about things like how fast the plane is going and the angle it's flying at, so it can adjust the wings and other parts to keep the plane stable. Similarly to the earlier mentioned fighter jets, the B-2 has some tricks to make it hard to spot, like hiding its engines inside the wings to reduce how much they can be seen by radar. It also has special paint to make it harder to see during the day, and it's designed to be less visible to radar and other sensors. For its radar, this air fighter is built to be like a flat plate, which reflects less radar than other shapes. It also uses special materials to absorb radar waves, and it's put together very precisely to avoid any leaks that could make it easier to spot on radar. Also, to keep it safe from bad weather and other things that could damage it, each B-2 has its own special hangar that's climate controlled and big enough to fit its long wings. These hangars can be set up anywhere this fighter jet needs to go, so it's always protected when it's not flying. Amazing, right? The next supersonic jet on the list is the F-A-18. This fighter is a special kind of aircraft that is powered by two engines, a testament of how strong it is, and a design that lets it do many different jobs. It is really good at moving quickly and changing direction because of its powerful engines, advanced computer controls, and special wing design. The wings have flaps and other parts that help the plane stay under control even when it's flying at tricky angles. One cool thing about this aircraft is that it has a bunch of features that help it fly at high angles without losing control. These include special flaps, big fins, and computer programs that help it move just right. Scientists even tested its ability to fly at super high angles using special equipment. The aircraft was one of the first planes to use screens that can switch between different functions. This means the pilot can quickly switch between being a fighter or an attacker, which gives them more options in a battle. Plus, it's designed to need less maintenance than other planes, so it can spend more time in the air doing its job. And its engines are really reliable and easy to fix, which means less downtime between flights. This list wouldn't be complete without mentioning the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. This aircraft is an advanced American fighter plane with two engines that can fly in any weather. It was made by McDonnell Douglas, which is now part of Boeing. The United States Air Force chose this design in 1969 because they needed a special fighter plane that could rule the skies. The Eagle took its first flight in July 1972 and started working for the Air Force in 1976. It's one of the best fighters ever made, winning over 100 battles in the air without being defeated, mostly by the Israeli Air Force. Even though it was made mainly for air battles, it can also attack targets that are on the ground. This was a feature that wasn't used much at first. Later, a newer version called the F-15E Strike Eagle was developed, which could attack in any weather, making it a more efficient option. Unlike the earlier mentioned aircrafts, the F-15 is made of metal and has a strong structure that holds everything together. 
Its large wings are attached to its sides and have a unique shape that helps it fly very well despite unfavorable weather conditions. Also, the back part of the aircraft, called the M Pennage, is made of a mix of metal and composite materials. Its tail is very thin, and it has two vertical stabilizers at the back. Its horizontal tails can move independently to help control the plane in the air. A feature that is similar to the other supersonic fighter that was mentioned earlier is the cockpit, which has a big windshield for a clear view. The F-15 can climb really high in the sky very quickly and can even go up fast while still moving forward. It's designed so that one pilot can handle it easily during air battles. One interesting thing about this aircraft is that it doesn't have the same kind of exhaust covers on its engines like other modern fighter planes. This was because they had some problems during testing, so they decided to remove them, even though it made the plane a bit less aerodynamic. There's a famous story about an F-15 that lost one of its wings in a mid-air collision, but despite the absence of the wings, the aircraft still managed to fly and land safely. This showed how tough and adaptable the aircraft was. It led to more research on how to make aircraft handle better, even if they're damaged. The F-15's radar can spot targets high up or low down, even if there's a lot of stuff on the ground. It can find and track planes from far away, down to very close and at different heights. The radar sends target details to the computer to aim weapons accurately. For close fights, the radar locks onto enemies automatically and shows the info on the HUD. Also, it can carry different kinds of missiles for air-to-air -air combat. The pilot can release them safely using controls on the plane or the HUD, but that's not all, because this aircraft also has a powerful gun mounted on its wing. Definitely a formidable aircraft in conflicts. Here's an interesting fact. To fly longer distances without refueling, the F-15 can attach extra fuel tanks to its wings, and these tanks don't even slow it down much. It even gives the aircraft extra room to carry more weapons. These supersonic aircrafts are so advanced and efficient at what they do. They are one of the many reasons the United States Air Force is more powerful than China. Just imagine how advanced and powerful the other branches of the United States military are. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.